LSU Odyssey out for a Friday grocery drive, and I figured I would give LSU Odyssey peeps some uh, some background on the news we just broke about Jack Besh signing a huge, huge deal, um, not only for NILSU prospects, but for the future, um, for his career, and as well as the careers of other LSU Tigers who are thinking about coming to the school or are already there. You got Jack signing a huge deal. Huge deal with Todd France of Athletes First. This is just an NIL representation deal. Um, this, you know, and it's going to end when his college career ends. A multi year deal. You know, and then they'll discuss possibly continuing with professional representation after that. Nothing, you know, has been sealed or signed about professional representation, but this is a multi-year deal Jack has signed with Todd France, who, uh, next to Drew Rosenhaus, is probably the most connected NFL super agent out there. Reps uh, athletes first, once again. He's negotiated over a billion dollars over 1.1 billion in contract negotiations something like 30 clients over 30 clients and uh, Jack Besh caught his eye he now has basically a, an NFL agent as his representation in college that's something a lot of athletes are looking for at this level, at, you know, in the SEC. A lot of transfer prospects as well. This is what LSU can offer you. Not just, you know, th- these NIL opportunities as well, but the representation for these LSU athletes has been, you know, bar none. And this is a cutting-edge moment. This is a cutting-edge moment. Of course, Jack Besh is not the only Tiger with an agent, an NIL representation agent, of course. But this is the first NFL pedigree agent who is working in the NFL at that level, representing an LSU Tiger in the NIL arena. Very exciting, very exciting stuff. Especially if you're a Tiger commit for 2023 or you're thinking about committing to LSU. This is what happens at LSU. Of course, you can get these type of deals at other schools, sure. But you can't get the entire full package of the right school, the right history, the right tradition, the right teammates the right coaching staff, the right environment, the right academics, uh, the right location, the right weather. You're you're never going to find that full package. It's pretty rare. Usually you find it at LSU, especially when it comes to talking about the NFL as a future as well. So, you know, not trying to stump, you know, make it way too obvious how much we're stumping for the Tigers, but, you know, realistically, this is a big, big move for Jack Besh and his his future. And, you know, it bodes well for future Tigers. Definitely uh, check out our content about, you know, LSU staff recruiting all over the country. Notice the photo we use for the main article is a player that wasn't discussed in the article, Jonel Aguero. 
However, I, I had heard some type of account that he was being going to be visited, but I, I that wasn't verified to me. So I, I decided, well, let's give him a shout out with a photo, just in case. Well, they were able to, to see him, and it looks like he is just locked in. There's an edit with him, Michael Doherty, and Ryan Yates all together with the DBU background, wearing LSU Tigers gear. I'm, I get it. We've seen that type of stuff before, but that's pretty strong to come from, from a player. And you know, we've heard nothing but positivity coming from Jonel Aguero's camp and interest. And we know how Brian Kelly likes to recruit kids. He wants them to be locked in and invested early, just as much as they are. And he wants them to, you know, hey, if you're not going to be locked in, don't commit right now type of thing. So we'll see how that continues. But it looks like there's some DBs, Jonel Aguero, Christian Gray, who are looking close to commitments. And, you know... We've got some scoops there as well. Whit Weeks was visited by LSU's athletics as well. Their athletic uh, recruiting staff. A lot of stuff in there. Then we got the greatest Tigers ever list by position that we've been doing, an offensive version. Um, Definitely check that out and comment your greatest Tigers by position list. I want to see them. There's been some really interesting debate that, a lot of fans, subscribers, just Tiger fans talking, and it's been great just listening to all the different opinions from Tiger fans. I love it. Because there's so many great players that, you know, like for the list, I think I made a mistake by not putting Ben Wilkerson at center. I made kind of a more recent choice for my center pick, and I regret that. And I learned that, remembered all of that from a Tiger fan saying, I think you should put, you should have put Ben Wilkerson. And I was like, damn, you're right. It just shows with this, with how many great players this history of LSU, it's just, it's pretty incredible. 